Here we have uh, two different Ford factory harnesses, and if you look closely at them, uh, the wire codes on these do not match from one connector to the other. However, uh, once you purchase the aftermarket wire harness, this aftermarket wire harness mates directly to this connector, and hooking this wire harness to your aftermarket wire harness will allow you to just plug and play without determining which wires mate to which wire because these are the universal colors. Ford does not need an uh, antenna adapter. There are several different uh, Ford connectors that are in the car. They do build uh, harnesses, aftermarket harnesses to mate to these. We also have uh, the old style Fords which uh, came with two connectors. Uh, usually uh, both have a black base on them. Uh, one would have a black face while the other has a gray face and these also come with aftermarket harnesses for mating and hooking up and going into the car as well. Again, giving you the universal colors to connect to your aftermarket stereo. On some occasions, Ford has amplifiers in the car. And this would be one of the extra cables you might find in the back of the radio going in. And there are several adapters for this. There is one adapter that will mate to this and give you your speaker wires and you'll need the amplifier bypass cable to go to the trunk of the vehicle and usually bypass the amplifier. The reason for bypassing the amplifier is the original amplifier probably has 25 to 30 watts. Most aftermarket car stereos today have uh, 40 to 60 watts. So you'd be jamming 40 to 60 watts into an amplifier to come out 25 to 30 watts. So the amplifier bypass cable uh, bypasses the amplifier that's in the back of the vehicle and allows you to keep your 40 to 60 watts. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe. See our website.